Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be upgrading to the latest kernel. Now, it's not the latest kernel, but it's going to be the kernel that we're going to need to use for this Chrome, uh, I guess, turning a Chromebook into an elementary OS device. Now, in these videos, I've completely removed Chrome OS and I've installed elementary OS. Just when you do that, you do run into a few problems. Those few problems are going to be the kernel issue, trackpad issue, suspend issue, a few different things, but we'll go ahead and get that taken care of in this about four or five part tutorial. Now, if you haven't already done so, you want to probably go back to the very first tutorial, which I'll have a link in the description. And then that's where you can go ahead and set up your Chromebook to boot into Legacy Boot, which will then allow you to install a Linux distro via USB, uh, either a live USB stick or with Drive Droid, the Android application. So once you have that installed, you want to go ahead and come in here. Uh, you'll just do your basic setup and you'll just go ahead and go to the link in the description or you can just bring, you know, maybe save this video as a playlist or something like that and you can just open up your mobile device and then just kind of use that as a second screen so it'll be a little bit easier uh, but again the copying pasting is not going to be quite as easy so you have to manually type in a lot of stuff just take that into consideration so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to come to that website like I say which will, the link will be in the description and we're going to come on down to part one now you want to make sure you're on step two upgrade to the latest kernel and you want to go ahead and click this now this is going to bring you to this little screen right here. Do not be afraid of it. You're going to need to scroll though all the way down to 3.12.5. So it's going to be that one right there. You're just going to click it. Now making sure that you did download and installed a uh, AMD64.io so Linux distro you want to go ahead and click that if you uh, installed an i386 make sure you click that one so you're going to click this top one going to install that one we're going to install this one right here and finally we're going to install that so that's all three of those now don't go ahead and click them once they're installed in your downloads folder uh, you're just going to like say you'll just click one and it's just going to save I'll just show you real quick there you go keep and it's 12 megabytes for that one so it'll download I'll just cancel it why not it, you'll find it in your uh, files folder in your download section but you don't need to worry about that quite yet we're gonna backtrack to the main website which is right here and we're gonna take on so as you see his step, second step said choose version 3.12.5 trusty that's what we did and now it's going to download those three which I just showed you and finally we're gonna need to open up our terminal terminal copy that I will go into accessories terminal paste it press enter as you see now I'm in the downloads folder and then what you'll do next is you can go ahead and either copy and paste that or type that exactly and what that is telling our terminal to do where's the terminal at there it is it's actually going to say hey I want to install those three packages that I just downloaded but instead of you manually doing each one that little star.deb is going to say install every deb file that is in your download section. So if you have other debs in there, take that into consideration. It's going to install those as well. So you maybe want to clean that out. Uh, once that is done, you can go ahead and type in sudo reboot. Uh, again, when you boot into it, if you have not removed that write protection screw, uh, screw and you have not officially put the elementary OS or another uh, we'll just say the elementary OS if you have not made that the only distro which so when you boot on your Chromebook you're gonna actually have to press the control L to get into legacy boot again and then it should bring you right into elementary OS since that's the only uh, distro you have installed uh, if it doesn't boot right away or if you're having issues uh, when you restart your computer and you press control L uh, wait for those few lines of text to kick off in the top left corner uh, press escape when it tells you to press escape and then press the number that's going to be associated with your hard drive in which you have elementary OS installed and then what you'll do next is you're going to type in uname dash r now here's some quick tips if you've installed that and you type in when you re, uh, boot back into your elementary OS and you type that uname dash r in the terminal and you press enter and it's still showing three dot uh, whatever it is 3.20 or whatever that whatever the current version is and it does not see the 3.12.5 what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to reboot your system press control L press escape when it tells you to press escape 
um, instead of just pressing one or two, whatever the number is, hold shift and then press that number. You're then going to be greeted with a boot option menu. Uh, from there, you're going to press down once and you're going to need to get in the advanced options. Press enter on that and go ahead and press the generic 3.12.5 version and boot into that. In a video, probably about the fourth video in this uh, little tutorial segment, I will show you how to completely remove that 3. Dot whatever else, the original one you had. And so every time you reboot your computer until you go ahead and clear out those kernels, uh, you're going to have to boot, you're going to have to boot in that way. So the control L, press escape, hold shift, press whatever number that your hard drive's on until again, we'll take care of that. Uh, and that's all you need to know really about getting your kernel, you know, updated to the one that we're going to be able to work with from here on out. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the section below. Uh, in the description, I'll have plenty of the links, plenty of the options of how to get all this information right there in front of you. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.